Hi everybody. Our test 718 Cayman GT4 went from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds and ran the quarter mile in 12 seconds flat at over 115 miles per hour thanks to the PDK dual clutch automatic transmission. This is comparable to the new Corvette, which is a little slower but still quite quick. Even better is the brakes, which have a powerful stopping power and a pedal that is firm and simple to control. The optional carbon ceramic brakes were on our test vehicle. In our performance tests, they didn't fade, and they were easy to modify for smooth city stops. The handling is everything a sports car should be. The GT4 has excellent steering feel, and it has beautiful balance at all speeds. The climate control system on the Cayman GT4 is its primary flaw. It cools and warms the lodge fine, yet its mix of tiny buttons and rocker switches is not even close to great. Noise is another drawback. At high speeds, the 4.0 liter flat 6 engine dominates the interior and is matched only by tire and road noise in town. In such a high performance vehicle, ride comfort is frequently a concern. For faster canyon and track driving, the stiffer of the two selectable suspension settings maintains some decorum while still providing better body control. The seats in our test vehicle were made of carbon in one piece. They are comfortable enough to drive for a few hours, but the other seat designs on the Cayman offer heating and much better airflow. Find a deal on a used 718 Cayman near you. The infotainment screen is simple to use and well integrated into the minimalist interior. However, it is one of Porsche's older units and looks a little out of date. The Cayman is low to the ground, and that can make it challenging to get in and out smoothly. The technology in the Cayman GT4 may be exactly what you want or severely lacking in style and substance, depending on your priorities. Voice controls and a navigation system, for instance, are both optional. The sound quality of the standard audio system is not very good. The Cayman's increased interior noise may make it difficult to enjoy the upgraded system, though. Apple CarPlay smartphone integration costs extra from Porsche, and Android Auto is not available. Additionally, driver aids are largely absent. On the plus side, the GT4 has excellent anti-lock braking and track tune stability and traction control systems to maximize performance in both wet and dry conditions. The 718 Cayman has a trunk in both the front and back. The GT4's front trunk can hold a few grocery bags or a carry-on suitcase, while the rear trunk can hold jackets or duffel bags. The cup holders are difficult to use and a little out of the driver's reach. Efficiency The EPA gives the PDK prepared Cayman GT4 an efficiency gauge of 20 mpg consolidated. Together, the Corvette and BMW M4 competition achieve 19 mpg. Our test vehicle stickered at more than $127,000 because of choices including carbon clay brakes and one-piece can seeds. Just be aware that cars like the Corvette and the M4 that are faster and nearly as capable are available for tens of thousands of dollars less. There are excellent attention to detail and materials of excellent quality everywhere, as you would expect. 
balance, capability, and the confidence it instills in its driver more than make up for the lack of outright power. There are quicker vehicles, and there are much quicker Porsches, yet the Cayman GT4 offers the perfect proportion of force, taking care of and feel to beat out everyone else in a large number of the exhibition classifications that make the biggest difference. One of the few modern automobiles that requires a driver to make the most of its impressive mechanicals is this one. It only rewards the driver with precise, foreseeable responses and the flat six Porsche howl that we used to dream of as children and offers very little in the way of distractions. Thank you for watching. Leave a comment below and let us know what you thought of the video. We'll see you in the next one.